that balloon popping dating show that's going viral on TikTok is cringe as hell. It's cringe as hell. The audacity, the caucasity of a lot of you women that go up there turning down men that can provide you with resources and solutions. What you do, you turn them down. Yeah. That shit is so cringe. I seen a guy go up there, he said that he was an electrician. He was a plumber. He was a mechanic. This man is a provider. He is a jack of all trades and he was fairly attractive. You know, a woman got up there and said she didn't like his shoes and didn't like how he talked because he sounded like her little brother. You talk about self-sabotaging at an all-time high. That's insane to me. Like, that's crazy. I believe in family. I believe in the black woman dating and marrying the black man. But it is time for us to see and realize that in the past, yes, in the past, black men were not stepping up. They were not doing what they needed to do. They weren't in the home. They weren't doing right. They weren't taking care of their women. We understand that. I acknowledge that as a black man, at one point in time, we were at fault. But now, fast forward to 2024, and even last year and the year before that, we are living in a world where women are not being held accountable. We live in a world where a woman is not allowed to take accountability. We live in a society where if you speak up against what black women are doing, you're shamed, you're called ignorant, a misogynist, and people want to cancel you. Stay tuned. <laughs>
let these men start picking y'all apart. And a lot of y'all women that be on that show is really not even no eye candy like talking about. It's always the drop dead pretty women that's more reasonable than y'all okay women. What's up with that? It's always you bad body that always got so much to say that's shaped like Gatorade bottles. What's up with that? <laughs> that's crazy to me. I never seen so many multiple women with up teen children and multiple baby daddies critique good men. No one says that. No one looks at the woman. We're always talking about men. Whenever a man says anything about a black woman, what do black women always say? Well, what about the men? What about the men? What are the men doing? Men need to treat women better. What about, oh, those statistics are pushing an agenda. What agenda? The black woman has gone bad. Black women are responsible for a lot of these movements, the passport bros, red pill, the manosphere, because you don't see any other race of woman, right, wrong, or indifferent. You will never see a white woman say anything bad about a white man. Same thing with a Latino, Asian, or Hispanic, Indian, or Arab. You won't see it. But you'll see a black woman get on the internet and talk smack. And then they'll justify it by saying, oh, you're trying to control me. You're trying to run my life. Watch my video over here. We want to throw around those words about control and submission and slavery. But then we look at the success of other people in the dating market and compare it to our own and we're at the bottom. Woman can go out and have sex and procreate with 10 different men, but it's the man's fault, not her fault. But let a man go out and procreate with 15 different women. Oh, it's his fault. He needs to take accountability. I feel sorry for all of those women. We don't feel sorry for the women, but we won't feel sorry for the men. We all extend sympathy and empathy to the women, but we won't extend sympathy and empathy to the men. We all say kind words to the women and coddle them and allow them to keep making mistakes but we won't do that with the men do you see the double standard do you see the double standard we live in a society where there is a double standard between men and women and as a result there is a decline in the black community with relationships, with power, with marriage, with finances. And the only people that can mend it is our community, mainly the women, because the men were waiting on the women to get it together. But it's time for us to put the blame where the blame needs to be on and see when we do that, we're called haters. We're called mean people. We aren't allowed to say what we're saying. And then people will try to cancel us. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.